Throughout my whole life, I feel like I've, I've always been uh, fighting. You know, I've always had people telling me that I can do things. I was known as a kid with no legs, and so I felt like I had something to prove. And when I prove people wrong, it's, it's one of the best, best feelings ever. My name is Rudy Garcia Tolson. I'm from Bloomington, California, and I'm a Paralympic swimmer. Sports is, is my life. I've been doing sports since I was seven years old. I love swimming especially because when I'm in the water, I feel free. I don't feel like I have no legs. I feel like an able-bodied person. That's how I train. I don't train any different than any other Olympic athlete. You know, that's just, that's just what I do. Living here at the Olympic Training Center, uh, I tell everyone I'm living the dream. What I do is I eat, sleep, and train. I hit the pool from seven to nine. And then at two o'clock, I hit the gym. Oh. Uh, and then after that, I hit the pool again. The word disabled is not uh, one of my favorite words, I can say. I like the word challenged because I'm challenged. You know, every day I wake up, I have to put my legs on. The same as when you wake up, you have to put your shoes on. It's just, you know, a little bit different. My shoes are a little more heavier and I got a few more pairs. But at the end of the day, I can probably beat a lot, of, a lot more able-bodied athletes out there in running or swimming and, or even in a triathlon. Going into my third Paralympic Games, physically I've, I've put in the work. Now it's just 100% uh, mental. I hope it's going to be a, an awesome year. I think it's going to be one of my greatest races in London. Ever since I was, uh, you know, eight years old, I've always had to, to be a self-motivator. I had to, been, had to be an innovator uh, in everything I do. I had to figure out a way to, to, to run. I had to figure out a way to ride my bike. You know, now I'm still figuring out things that I never knew that I could do. I don't think I'll ever be satisfied. In my mind, there's always something more I could be doing. You know, I, I always strive for better and I always strive for faster. If I can finish an Ironman, you know, in under 12, 13 hours, I might be satisfied with that. You know, it's all about how I, I care of myself and it's all about my attitude. If I stay positive in life, usually things work out. And if I start thinking negative, that's when trouble starts to come by. Life is too short to be stuck doing something that, that you're not happy with. I tell people every day I'm, I'm living my dream. Uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. And, you know, I feel like it, I have a responsibility to show the world that you know, having no legs is, is, is nothing. You know? Like I said, real disability is a negative attitude.